let's look at using um, Google Presentation and YouTube and Google Plus to deliver a lecture online. I have a presentation ready to go here. This is a lecture that I would like my students to see. Um, let's get set up to do this. What I need to do is have a YouTube account up and ready to go when I, when I um, create this lecture because we're going to actually store the final lecture on YouTube. And I've already logged into YouTube here myself. If you haven't logged into YouTube, you'll see the sign in button right here and go ahead and sign in. If it's the first time you've signed in, avoid clicking the create a new account button because you already have an account being part of MSAD60. So here I am in YouTube. I'm going to go to the upload portion of YouTube. In the upload portion, we'll see several choices, one of which is Google Plus Hangouts, and that's where we want to go. We're actually going to simulcast our lecture through Google Plus into YouTube. Take a minute for the blue line to do its thing. There'll be a couple more questions we'll need to answer before we're ready to go, but it just takes a couple of steps, and then you're ready to deliver your lecture online. First thing we need to do here is name our lecture, so we'll call this Chromebook Workshop. And we need to tell Google Plus who we'd like to see our lecture. I'm going to make it available to anybody at MSAD60. You can see I could add other names here if I want to be more specific. I'll just click away. And I'm going to start my Hangout on the air. Looks like we're getting ready in the background to start. Oh, and there I am. Um, we're preparing the broadcast here. Google Plus will do a little work to get things processed. While we're waiting, though, what we can do is look at the uh, side window here you can see there are different options that I can use once I'm in my plus hangout and what we're going to actually do is click on screen share because what I want people to see is the screen with my lecture on it and that's what's actually going to be uploaded to YouTube that was scary me getting that close to the camera well let's just click on screen share here and I'll show you what that's going to look like now it's going to look a little uh, science fictiony we're going to show the desktop that's what we'd like to see uh, right there and we'll start the screen share and what happens is you get this infinitely repeating refresh of my screen getting smaller and smaller and smaller off into infinity which is kind of interesting uh, let's wait a second and we're ready to start the broadcast so what I'm going to do is simply click start the broadcast and yes of course I agree to their policies and our broadcast is now starting. They're going to give us a 10-second countdown just to get ready, get the makeup crew in here, and get everything just perfect. Once we start going, we're posting now. What I'd like to do is go to my lecture, the Chromebook Workshop. If I click on that and simply hit Present, we fire this guy right up. Our students are waiting with bated breath with their notes and pencils in hand. Here we go. Getting ready for Chromebook. And we can just click through, and as I'm talking, delivering my lecture notes, uh, I'm actually screencasting this lecture, simulcasting it to YouTube. And once we're finished with the lecture, we won't go through the whole, through the whole thing now because you've already seen it. I can then go back to my Hangout and say, okay, I'm done. I'm going to end this broadcast. A few spinning wheels will happen, and the broadcast will end. What we'll do while we're waiting here is let's go to YouTube. Now the best thing to do once you're in YouTube is simply go to the uh, video manager right here. Now the usually is a bit of a delay before the hangout processes the, the video. So we may be sitting here drinking coffee for a minute or two. And there we go. Chromebook Workshop is here, and this is the video that we just created with the lecture that we're going to show my students. This is in YouTube now, and all I need to do is send the URL to my students or have it linked into a uh, YouTube playlist, and there we go. We can share the knowledge with everybody who cares to see it.